What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Stellar, and we're taking a look at Stellar's data recovery professional software. Now, this is professional-grade software that allows you to easily recover entire files, folders, documents, photos, videos, and even audio files. Now, here's what's really interesting. It's really, really good for you to keep around just in case anything ever goes haywire with your SSDs, hard drives, USB drives, or even optical media. It has happened to me in the past where I have an SD card and you know what happens when you typically delete things on your desktop or even on your typical drives, it goes to the recycling bin and that way if you accidentally delete something in bulk, it's whatever you just go to your recycling bin and then you get it right back. However, something that's really, really killed me in the past is when it comes to an SD card, if you delete something, it literally tells you that thing is gone forever if you go ahead and delete it and the problem is a lot of times I will format SD cards and forget what's in another folder or I will simply delete an entire file only to realize that really really important footage that I've already shot of a product is now completely gone now I don't do it as much these days but back in the day it has led me to losing hours of work all within a few seconds so that's where this is really really cool now what happens if you have a drive and you accidentally do delete things from your recycling bin? Well, get this guys, you can go ahead and recover that as well. And we're going to test this theory by deleting these particular things. I'm going to go ahead and hit empty recycling bin. I'm going to, I want you guys to remember that for later. And as you guys can see, it says recovers data from emptied recycling bin. You can get data back from raw hard drives and it recovers data from deleted or lost partitions as well, which is why it is a professional grade so here's the software now inside of here you get a variety of options as you guys can see we have the full-on option to go ahead and mess with our settings and we can preview things in a safe mode it's all the different file formats we have so here's a file list so in case you want a faster screening because you want to ignore useless files like pixmap files or quicktime movies or graphic metal life files you can go ahead and deselect some of these that you don't really need and you can do this for every single format so let's say something on here is like a quickbooks file why do we need to scan for that? I don't know, but here's where it gets kind of cool. Maybe you're only specifically searching for QuickBooks files because you did your taxes recently and lost it. Well, maybe this is the best way to go ahead and mess with that. Another thing you can go and do is add or edit entire file types. So if there's something specific that's not really on here, well, you can go ahead and add that directly into here as well. You can also go and uh, resume a scan that you previously started but never got the chance to finish, which is kind of nice because we are scanning entire drives and these drives could consist of literally terabytes of data which could take you know days upon days to you know scan well let's say you have an eight hour work day and you don't want to leave your computer running all night and whatnot then this might be a pretty cool option for you to go and to use there's updates in here and activation and all that you can go ahead and purchase the full version if you really really need to go ahead and check out what you can get now Here's the main screen. What exactly can we recover right on here? So we can get office documents, our folders, emails. We can also get multimedia files. So as you guys can see, it tells you the file formats we'll be searching and what types of things like photos, audio, and video we got. Everything from .mov to mp3 to, of course, PNGs, which is really, really cool. Now, another option here is you can create a, well, once you get the full version, you can go ahead and create a full-on recovery drive as well, which is really, really cool. And then there is also the option to monitor an entire drive as well. We're going to go ahead and initialize that real quick and just to show you guys what that looks like. And there you go, guys. This is really, really cool. It's monitoring our main hard disk. It tells us the temperature, how it's performing, and if it's overall health, along with serial number and a variety of other interesting things. It also tells us any weird events that have been happening. So here are all the different details. It's spin up time and relocated sector and what it's been doing. You know, well, why not figure out what's been going on with your drives recently? There's also the option to uh, disk partition or partition your disk, which is really, really interesting as well. As you guys can see, I got 3% of it free, which isn't too, too good, but we can deal with that later. You can also go ahead and scan the disk in real time and I'll tell you what's going on through that and last but not least you can clone the entire disk which is really really cool as well if you want to take the entire disk and your operating system and all that and clone it directly onto a new drive because you know your hard drive is about to fail then this can be a really really, really cool thing as well but for the time being we're simply going to jump back and directly into our recover data section 
So what exactly are we able to do? I'm going to go ahead and select all these options. And now I'm going to go ahead and select where I want to scan. So maybe we want to scan our desktop. Maybe we want to scan our documents or maybe we want to choose a specific location to scan. There's also all our individual drives along with how much storage is on them. So if you lost something on one particular drive or better yet on an SD card, then this might be the spot for you. You can scroll down and you can even hit cannot find drive and it will try its best to locate that particular drive and piece info back together. Last but not least, you can also recover things from a disk image as well. Not something you'll be using too, too often, but could happen, so why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit choose location and maybe hit my desktop, or maybe I'm gonna go ahead and simply hit my main drive, which is power SSD. And now you can choose between a deep scan and a normal scan, and I'm gonna hit scan. So. It's going to go through my entire drive and it's going to try to see every single thing that it can possibly recover. And if you turn on the preview, it's going to give you quick previews of every single thing I've ever deleted, which is pretty interesting. Every song, every type of emoji, it's bringing up the weirdest things, a picture of Obama, a random picture of balloons. And it's going to give you these cool previews of all these random things that it is able to recover. A lot of these are from previous videos that we worked on, which is really, really cool. And after after it's done, I'm going to hit stop. And now it's actually going to go and show you all the individual folders in which it has found data. Now I remember this particular folder. It's a folder I backed up. And when I originally got my phone, oh, it'll actually tell you the scanning completed. And of course, how many files it found in how many folders it can it, in just that I didn't even complete the scan and it was able to find 275 gigabytes of potential files and folders. Now the really cool thing is I'm going to hit new ion. And as you guys can see, it shows you in higher files and whatnot and there's my drone shots in here and it's giving me a real-time preview of the shot I deleted almost years ago how insane is that and it's just capable of recreate reconstructing all of these deleted files directly in real time here's another drone shot maybe I can go and click on this 181 and it will go ahead and create it obviously if the files a little bit bigger it'll take a little bit longer to recreate I'm gonna hit do not show and just like that here's another file that I deleted which is absolutely insane um, there's a variety of other things in here for example entire folders um, another drone shot and it, it, it's just crazy that it's not recreating mp3s it's not recreating images it's recreating entire videos how cool is that now, if I go through my old videos and whatnot, as you guys can see, I can see other things that I've deleted in the past, or maybe it's just simply, here's something interesting to note as well. Maybe it's not something you deleted. Maybe your computer updated it and uh, updated itself and it accidentally deleted something it needed, maybe in recovery, maybe in AMD, maybe in VT root. And now all of a sudden you have no way of recovering that file, but your computer can't run properly without that particular file. Well, once again, this is a really awesome way to go ahead and do that. And if for some reason you don't manage to find what you are looking for, you can go ahead and hit deep scan and there's a pretty nice chance that it will be able to pull up exactly what it needs. And afterwards, obviously, if you want to recover whatever it is, let's say it's like, I don't know, I'm going to go and choose a random drone shot. Why not? I'm going to hit recover and it will go ahead and ask you for which option you want to choose. And you can choose between the professional premium and the technician option. All in all, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Once you activate, you're able to recover unlimited amount data so it is really cool to have just in case you ever need it thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off